Yeah, very nice to see you too. Hey now, Monsieur Roger Landrio from Susan Jennings. We'll hear from Robert Barsky. The mayor will be here, so I don't know if he wrote a book. Maybe he has, we'll ask him. Uh, Sophie Spooner from Lori Campbell, uh, from Vivian, and from Agora. So uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of opportunities this morning to hear from our authors. Bonjour à tous et à toutes. Alors bienvenue au uh, premier salon du livre d'Ottawa. This is the first year for the Book Expo here in Ottawa. Thank you for all the authors that have participated uh, in this year's first edition. Now, I'd like to invite our first author, uh, Jen Freddy, to come and say a few words. Uh, what got you involved in the Book Expo in the first place? Um, this is my first event actually ever, my first in-person event. Um, I just saw some ads for it and decided I would go for it, so. So here you are this morning for the first. Uh, how's it feel? Uh, you're, you're amongst a lot of authors. We're, we're just getting started. How does it feel to be here at the, uh, the Book Expo here in Ottawa? Um, it's really great. I think it's a great community. It uh, has a great um, literary community. And uh, it's really good to be among my peers. And, uh, and this is a great event. It's all yours. Um, okay, so I'm going to read today from my book, Gargoyle Huntress, uh, which is an urban fantasy. Um, I'll just read the back for you and then I'll read a little bit from inside. So the blurb is, my name is Harlow and I'm the loser that got suckered into the worst job in history. I'm a gargoyle huntress. Thanks to a tiny bit of vandalism, I now wrestle wayward fighty devils back to their perches at way too early o'clock. But lately, something has gone wrong. So my name is Matt Fleury. I'm the city councillor for what I believe to be the best part of our city, which includes oh. Lower Town, Sandy Hill, and Vanier. And this morning, uh, for the first, there's a, a book expo here at Lansdowne Park at our culture building. And I knew, I knew some of the organizers, so they asked me to MC uh, the morning session, getting to meet some authors, getting to meet some of their stories, uh, if, they, if they write fiction, non-fiction. Uh, our latest group, Peacock Press, who really wants to create uh, more, more of an openness to the face of Ottawa is changing, and how do they remove some of the barriers for our authors to share their stories. Well, we're right beside uh, the farmer's market, which is going on, so there's a lot of community folks that are here. We're, it's a beautiful fall here in our capital city. We're a week after Thanksgiving weekend. So, we're, weather's, weather's good. It's weather's good, and, and Ottawa's kind of worried uh, that, that winter will come too quickly. So, uh, I'm great. Worried. Yeah, we're all, we all are. We all are. Dar the days are shorter, it's getting cold, there's a lot of wind, it's rainy often, so it's a great time to pick up books and learn more and challenge ourselves so that we don't get into the, uh, the winter blues, if you will. Do you see any inherent superiority to books, tangible paper and covers and words, as opposed to some of the, the higher tech that has substituted in the, in the last decade or so? Well, the social media platforms are not great. Right, they, they're instantaneous, you can get the information that you already know, it all, often validates your own assumptions. Um, to me it's not so much so the textile elements of a book, but it's more the content of the book and the seriousness of it. I, I often read, one of the uh, recent books I, I read was uh, our Governor General. He wrote a book, our former Governor General, uh, David Johnson, about, uh, <coughs> sorry, it's called Trust. And it's about public institution and how we built our Canadian society around trust and, and those values. It's, it's, it was a compelling book for me that opened my mind to uh, the importance of immigration, uh, the importance of our, uh, of our trust in our public institutions, and how to regain that. Oh, wow, Matthew, that's, that's, that's great. So there's definitely a recent book that is influenced. Absolutely, I love reading. Since coming here this morning, can you tell us uh, about anything that has struck you about people, the authors, the books, the venue, anything? Well, when you go into uh, the big uh, the big book environments, you see kind of the corporate. You walk into a chapter, it's big corporate. It's it's they're really they, they showcase the book that they want to sell, and it's it's very money driven. It, today's more of an organic. Right, people speak to each other. They share their stories. Uh, their themes from kids' books to uh, we we heard uh, religious back elements. So. To me, it, to me, it's about giving that form, giving that opportunity, and obviously, you don't feel the, the force of sell. You don't, you don't feel that 
authors are here today to share their story. They're not here to sell books necessarily. Although that's certainly uh, uh, an op- there's an opportunity to, sell, to buy books. Absolutely. After having spoken with a couple of the authors the last few days, there seemed to be a, a message that uh, we wanted to promote to youth. Is there anything you wanted to emphasize to youth who might be interested in coming here or who are interested in, in books, much to the chagrin of their you know, texting friends? You will feel more, uh, more grounded, more empowered by knowing your community, by knowing your city. And often that starts with uh, books that are, are reflective of the area you live in. Wherever, whatever the theme is, that it be sports, that it be culture, that it be a true story. Uh, yeah. Anne Reyna, one of the authors that's with us here today, is talking about a compelling story about her sister who, who grew up in Ottawa with ter- tuberculosis uh, and her story in the late 30s, early 40s, and what that meant for her to live in an institution for uh, well, uh, well over 10 years. So, you know, knowing those true grounded stories in our community really give you some, uh, some, some positive or some thoughtful reflections about uh, w- where we've been, where we're at, and where we can go. Yeah, it puts it into context and it gives us a foundation, and like you said, it gives us a sense of identity as well, right? With our own surroundings and the people, because you're not just you, right? You're also your community, at least I like to think so. And, and the vibes that you interact, I mean, it, just speaking of the weather, we know that our farmer's market that's right beside here, this is harvest season. In a yeah. couple of months, you can't grow much in Ottawa yeah. outdoors. So, exactly. um, you know, that is the true nature of who we are, is what we eat, how we exchange. Yeah. And uh, I, I really, it's interesting today to be beside a farmer's market uh, that's so organic, that's so harvest season, and speaking to authors who have so much to share.